I'm Mark Levine with NYSAC TV. I'm here with Suffolk County Executive Steve Ballone. Thank you for coming today, Great County Executive. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what's happening in Suffolk County these days? What's the state of the county? Uh, how are things going? Well, we've, you know, uh, like many other municipalities across the state, across the country, dealing with very difficult financial uh, situations. So we've made a number of, of changes. We've significantly reduced the workforce in the two years that I've been here. Uh, we are moving health centers over to the uh, private sector, not-for-profits, where they can actually provide better care. Uh, and we closed the county nursing home, uh, which was uh, costing the county between 10 to $12 million a year uh, in a subsidy. So these were you know, difficult decisions, uh, tough choices, uh, but necessary uh, in order to get the county back on uh, uh, solid uh, fiscal footing and so that we can now move forward with, a, I think, a very positive agenda. That's great. A county, exec, uh, county executive making counties in New York more efficient and effective. Uh, can you talk a little bit about uh, economic development? How are, how's business, how's, jo how's the job situation in Suffolk County? Well, we've had uh, a uh, dip in the unemployment rate, but a lot of the jobs being created are um, uh, temporary jobs or, or lower paying jobs. And what we're focused on is really building an innovation economy uh, in Suffolk County and in our region. You know, we have great assets uh, on, on Long Island in Suffolk County. Stony Brook University, Brookhaven National Laboratory, the only uh, uh, national laboratory in the Northeast. We have Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory. Uh, so the, these are really incredible assets, and you know we've got to do the right things governmentally, and that means, I think, investing in public transportation, and that's one of the things that uh, we'll be looking for uh, from the state, those key investments in public transportation, and connecting that to development hubs that uh, provide places for young people to live and to do other things like shop and, and, uh, and do entertainment, things like that, that are attractive to young people. Great. Thank you very much. Before I let you go, though, um, it's been a year since Sandy. I mean, yeah. you, you've, you came in, and there was a huge storm that impacted your county in Long Island. Can you talk a little bit about uh, how, how are things now in the post-Sandy world in Suffolk County? Well, we've come a long way in a year, but there are people who are obviously still um, – struggling, still working to get back uh, into their homes full-time after a year. Um, uh, you know, fortunately, uh, some of the uh, Sandy money is getting now directly to people so they can, you know, figure out uh, exactly what they're going to be doing and rebuilding their homes and lifting up homes. That's very important. Uh, so we've come a long way. We've recovered well. We appreciate the support uh, that the governor has given us, uh, which has been terrific from the very beginning, uh, and as well as the federal government. And uh, we're now focused on uh, continuing to rebuild and, and make us stronger for the future. Great. Thank you very much for being here. It's good to see you, County Executive. Great to see you.